The Creator is out this weekend, and as a new sci-fi IP, I had to see it. The early reviews have been circulating, immensely praising the film, building up further anticipation. Does the creator change the game, or is it another forgettable sci-fi failure? Take care of her. I promise. The creator takes place in the near future. In the not too distant future. With Los Angeles decimated from a nuke dropped by artificial intelligence. The US, out for blood, condemns robots and AI, going to war with the new Asia faction that is banded together with robots and AI. John David Washington plays Josh, a soldier in the middle of the massive conflict who is sent to find the weapon responsible. At a blazing two hours, the creator had me hooked from the first frame. Going into it, I heard the film had garnered some interest in sharing common story beats and themes to other sci-fi classics. Throughout the film, I probably named at least 12 before I realized if I'm crossing Vertigo with Aliens, with The Matrix, with Children of Men, with Robocop, it's safe to say a film stands on its own regard. The creator deals with dozens of different themes, spinning from nature versus nurture, tribalism, the military industrial complex, to even the afterlife. In true science fiction fashion, the beautiful location mixed with impressive action set pieces are dressing for the real message. John David Washington continues his rise to superstardom with his character Joshua. His motives, his actions throughout are entirely relatable, but the star of the show is newcomer Madeline Yuna Voiles, who plays Alfie or The Weapon. This is her first role and honestly, she blew me away. Despite being a robot, she injects the film with much needed heart and surprisingly a few giggles. I have no doubt she has a big future for her going forward, and her chemistry with Washington is phenomenal. Perhaps the most surprising part of the entire film was the budget. Before the showing, my audience was treated to a trailer for the upcoming Marvel film, The Marvels. The budget for that film is roughly between 220 to 275 million dollars. The budget for the creator, $80 million. The cameras used throughout were Sony cameras that cost around $3,000. Throughout the film, I had constantly questioned how. How did they do this? How did they do that? Eventually, the only thing that makes sense is some sort of money laundering scheme because this shouldn't cost four times more than this. It just shouldn't. The creator isn't perfect, and I know some people will certainly scope out a bigger target after seeing some of the rather hyperbolic reviews. You know the reviews that were like, the greatest movie ever, your mom said this is the best movie since Beaches, those kind of critic reviews. The creator is balancing a rather wide net of thematic elements, and for the most part, I think it delivers a pretty convincing message, one that I really quite haven't seen and might be the first time offhand that I can think of a convincing emotional story about evolving with AI rather than being afraid of it. Regardless, a lot of the themes can overpower the script and admittedly the ending did feel a tad, uh, let's say a tad convenient. All in all, The Creator is a must-see film in the highest order. I was shell-shocked in a way that felt reminiscent of my viewing of Oppenheimer. The action set pieces are unlike anything you've ever seen, the story matched with the various aforementioned themes, and the wonderful performances sold the film in a way that made me think, this might be my favorite film of the year. While the praise has been lofty, perhaps leaning on hyperbolic, it is commendable to see a film of this magnitude reach for the stars and achieve just about everything it was setting out to do. It's beautiful, heartbreaking, action-packed, and honestly, really worth your damn time. I give the creator a four out of five.